Well, the first time I met Jack Schneider, uh, I was being interviewed for the position with Mantech, with Mantech back then. And they said, why don't you ride with this guy? He's one of our real up and coming superstars and he's doing real well. 70, I started 74, so said, end of 73. Uh, November, around November 73. Jack would call me constantly. How are you doing? Any ideas? Give me ideas to, you know, to go and take products in. And uh, he, he was there at that first six months, maybe a year, and that he was. In his own way, he was warm hearted and it really helped new people in the business. One time then he decided we would talk about his son, Jeff. Uh, Jeff was in the service, uh, worked his way from Miami University, went in to the Air Force and was going to be a pilot. Jeff decided to change careers and Jack and I talked about it and he said, uh, you know, he, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and retire and let him have my area. That'd be nice. One of the nice things is when Jeff did come on board with uh, Mantech at the time, Jack and, and Jeff might have got a little closer together in their relationship. And then along comes Jeff and, he's, and he talks about his son and, and uh, James who's doing real well in school and James just wanted to start his own business and he thought why not do get with, uh, with uh, NCH. And Jeff and I just, you know, decides that uh, ja uh, James is going to come on board and we're looking at three generations but then he also says, well, then there's Uncle John. <laughs> so <laughs> so there's, there's four people in this, involved with this situation now. Well, some of the early memories I have of my dad uh, with NCH um, doing sales would be a lot of times there was long days. Um, this was back in the 70s. And uh, I knew he worked sometimes hours away from home and it would be longer days. Um, but he would always be excited when he had a good day. And um, it was always talked about how many orders he had. Um, I, I think probably not much different from these days. It was, it was always, um, if you can see 10 customers a day, you should be able to get three orders. And that's 15 a week and 16 a month. And that was always the goal. And he was pretty excited when he hit that goal. Um, I also remember um, lots of paperwork, you know, um, a little different than the way we have it now, but uh, orders were um, called in. Uh, in the evening, so we'd spend time uh, in the evening calling in orders and, and always had his office in the basement. You know, I'd say the most that, one of the things that Dad liked the most about uh, working for NCH, I guess one word would sum it up, and that's family. Um, I remember when he retired in 2007, uh, he wrote a letter to the Levy family, just showing his appreciation for them building a company that is not just a family company because it's a Levy family, but building a company that a family could flourish in, that reps could flourish in to support their family. Around that same time, my father was looking at retiring uh, from NCH. He had um, had some, some health issues and had kind of go into semi-retirement mode for a few years, and um, but he was gonna be looking at officially hanging up his hat, so to speak. And uh, so um, he suggested I call one of his old friends and, and manager, John Brady, who was still in Cincinnati and was doing management and running his own territory. So I knew John was an old family friend and um, I gave John a call and we met for breakfast in Cincinnati one morning and um, had a little conversation about, would this be a good fit for me? Would this be a, a good idea? And um, that was kind of the, the start of it, of it all. What I found through the years is I was able to get what I was looking for and why I left pharmaceutical sales is to really get that work-life balance where I could have dinner with the family every night. I could put the kids to bed every night. Uh, we could take those long weekends if we wanted to and go camping. Um, we could, we could uh, you know, I could try to teach James how to fish even though I wasn't very good at it myself. Um, I could coach his soccer games. And um, so it really, was was a good move. So you know, I, I was probably five or six years old, and never really knew exactly what Grandpa did. Um, you know, when I was that age, but I know Dad said he, he worked in sales, and he evidently you know seemed pretty good at what he did and, and successful, and um, enjoyed what he did certainly. Yeah. So some childhood memories of mine, I guess. You know, I remember um, you know kind of growing up. Obviously, you know, had some energy, loved to, to run around, play outside, and um, Dad, you know, obviously leave for for work early in the morning. He He'd come back home, he might have some paperwork to do, you know, every day is a little bit different, but um, would always make some time for us in the evening and 
we'd spend time together doing different things. Uh, taught me how to hunt, you know, growing up, did a lot of soccer together as well. He coached uh, my soccer teams from the time I was real young all the way through uh, middle school even. And so spent a lot of time doing that together. I was aware of a, a sales job in the, the Columbus, Ohio area and applied and, and was fortunate to be accepted into that position. And so um, I'm kind of in my 10th month now and, and looking back across that year, um, I've learned learned a ton, right? It's been a great experience um, getting to meet different people, um, understanding a little bit more about what our company does and the different solutions that we offer, um, really covering the full spectrum of any sort of industrial facility, any sort of business facility. Um, but I love some, some of my favorite things about it are just getting to build those relationships with customers, um, getting to to see people that, you know, there's, there's people right now that I met six months ago, right, that I could I could send them a text and if I needed them to do a favor for me and, you know, refer me to somebody else, whatever, they'd be more than happy to. I can go in and um, we can talk about about their kids and their vacations. And when I walk in the door, their face just lights up and so does mine. It's great to be able to build those connections with people. So. Moving forward, I, I really see this as a career. You know, um, my grandpa worked all the way from the start of his career into his retirement, and my dad plans on continuing to work until retirement, and so do I. Uh, this is, it's a place that I love to be. I love the, the values of the company and how they value family um, in the same way that I do, and it's a place that I, I plan to grow old and just continue, continue growing and doing what I'm doing. Um, but at the end of the day, it really wasn't at all about fo following necessarily in his footsteps or, or grandpa's, although I really love that I've done that and it's been a neat thing. Um, but it was very much so I saw the values of the company. I saw everything in this position, what I wanted. Um, and so it's been, been a blessing to be able to pursue that.